G'day guys, Scotty Lyons here from The Hook and The Cook and welcome back to our channel. I've been lucky enough to be invited on a trip this week. We're heading to New Zealand to fish for big kingfish. So today I thought I'd run you through what gear you need to pack for a trip like this. Now the spot we're heading to in New Zealand is called the Ranfurly Banks. It's about three hours from Rotorua. So we're flying into Rotorua. And this spot we're fishing is regarded as one of the hottest spots for catching big kingfish on surface lures. So some of the stuff we're going to be taking on this trip, as you can see in front of me, a nice mix of coloured lures and jigs and stuff like that. The first thing I want to talk to you about is two essential items, a pair of sunglasses and a hat. Good wet weather gear is essential on trips like this. Now let's look at the lures. We'll start off with the, uh, the deep water jigs. Now you want to take a range of these. These are uh, 200 gram jigs up to 400 grams, depending on the, uh, the water current that you're fishing. So have a mix of jigs, metal, metal jigs, in case you do, do do a bit of uh, jigging. But like I said, it is a surface lure spot. These are large surface lures from Shimano. All right, so have a mixture of those in different colors that will suit the job. Nice heavy duty trebles and rings. Make sure you get good quality gear for this sort of trip. And it's another one that's a sinker. So that'll sink down a little bit, but still a surface lure. Uh, metals are another great lure to take with you. Now these are the big double up bumper bars. Super heavy duty hooks and rings. Uh, that's the 75. You may want to take a couple of smaller ones but that's the largest one they make and that'll work really well. Now the beauty of these bumper bars you can flick them across the surface or you can let them sink down and, uh, and work the deeper water. But again, great lure worked across the surface. Now because they're a double up they've got two uh, bars that have come together like that and they make a nice racket when they're in the water and great tape, reflective tape. So great lure to have. And again, have a, an assortment of colours. Now the other lure to talk about is the one we made. We did a YouTube clip on this, a three part YouTube clip. You can follow along and see exactly how I made this lure. So I'm itching to get over in New Zealand and catch a kingfish on this one. I've made three others or two others, so we've got three total. No good taking one because obviously you might lose it on the first cast. So they're a great lure, home mateys, I'll be excited to catch a fish on those. A good pair of braid scissors will come in handy. And then you need some trace line. I've got 80 pound uh, fluorocarbon there, so definitely worth taking some of that. And I've got some backup braid as well. It's no good on your first cast getting spooled if you don't have backup braid. Very important to take some backup braid. The gear we're taking is the, uh, the Spheros Heavy Duty 20,000. I've got that spooled with 80 pound braid. It's a good super uh, strong reel from Shimano. So definitely worth using on a trip like this. I'm taking uh, two rods with me. I've got another Spheros 20,000 backed up with 50 pound line on a jigging rod to match. So that'll be a lot of fun. In case the, the surface lures aren't working and we have to revert to jigs. Um, so I've got an outfit for that. Okay, the second outfit I'm going to take is a, a Sveros 10,000, spooled up with 50 pound line, and a longer rod, uh, that rod's rated to 50 pound, uh, for casting, which is going to be ideal for working our surface lures. Okay, and our metal jigs, our bumper bars. So that rod will work fine. If we find the 50 pound, we could get now done. We can always go to the big fella, use the, the 80 pound. Another thing I'd have in my tackle box if I'm heading to New Zealand is some soft plastics. Have an assortment of soft plastics um, because the snapper fishing over there is fantastic. Just make sure you get nice heavy jig heads to suit the fishing you're doing. Well there you have it guys, a basic kit to take on a fishing trip to New Zealand to chase big kings. I tell you what, I'm looking forward to it, it should be a fantastic trip. And hopefully I'll have some fantastic footage for you to show you exactly what we did. Now remember to tune in next week for another fantastic clip on the hook and the cook and remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers guys.